Hello, seven and business. It's your girl, Fred Nicole, and welcome back to my channel. I have the diva here, so you already know this is a video about Prince K. This is actually going to be the 35 week update. Yes, I am at 35 weeks. Actually, I'm getting ready to go into 36 on Wednesday, but hey, it's been a busy week. It's been work, baby shower, and all those other good things. It's been just a very busy week. So here we are. I'm going to do the 35 week update pregnancy update so if you'd like to see what's been going on in 35 weeks then keep on watching but first let's stop what you're doing right now and go down and click on that red little box that says subscribe and then click on that bell so you can be notified anytime we do a video she's been extra right now <laughs> so make sure you do those things and then Let's get on into this. Come on, let me see you get gone. Get gone. Baby mama, this shot song been pregnant for way too long. Too long. Now tell the DJ, turn it off. Turn it off. If she a baby mama, she gon' do that baby mama. Work. She gon' put it on you. Yeah. Uh -huh. She gon' do that baby mama. Drop, 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 down, drop, down, 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 drop, drop. Okay, so I am currently 35 weeks pregnant, which means I am in the last week of the eighth month. And I am going to just go by the app, which I should have been doing every time I've done the pregnancy update. So, hey, okay, here it is. And so, I am um, currently 35 weeks pregnant, 35 and day five, day four. Tomorrow, I actually have my 36-week appointment. Uh, appointment. It's going to be before I hit 36 weeks, of course. I try to get that appointment scheduled for the day that I am off. I try to get all my appointments scheduled for when I'm off or when I can go in and leave early, things like that. So tomorrow is my 36-week update. Um, I, Maybe I'll come back and tell you guys what happened, if there were any any news, any changes, any dilated centimeters and all that kind of stuff. I'll come back and do that. But here we are. Okay, I got a new phone, you guys, and it just will not stay unlocked long enough. So, I'm in trimester three. It says, um, baby is big as a canary melon, whatever that may be, 19 to 22 inches and 5.5 pounds. I only, according to this, says four weeks and three days left, but I actually, I'm only going to nine weeks, so that means I have three weeks and three days left. Wow, so that is really cool. Um, let's see, let's get into the week. It says that with less space in your uterus now, your baby's movements have shifted from kicks and punches to rolls and wiggles. And you guys, it hurts a lot when he moves now. Um, it says your baby is standing tall, so to speak. This week is about 18 inches, but at about five and a quarter pounds. Um, it says she's continuing with her steady weight gain, but you guys know I'm having a boy. He'll pack on everywhere from one pound to several including large amounts of baby fat up into delivery day which means your baby's once skinny arms and legs are now quite plump and irresistible irresistibly soft um it says that i'm in month eight only one month left to go something else that's developing is the mind boggling pace these days your baby's brain power luckily the part of the, of the the part that surrounds the amazing brain um, the skull remains soft, and for a good reason, the soft skull will allow your baby to squeeze more easily through the birth canal. But I will not be pushing my baby through the birth canal. If it gets to the point where he's moving too far down too quickly, they will take the baby early, earlier, because I'm having a C-section. I cannot push. I've had two C-sections prior to this, and my um, birth canal is narrow and tilted, so it would be very hard for me to push. I would be in a lot, a lot, a lot of pain, and it will put a lot of stress on the baby, so we will not be pushing Prince K out. He will be a scheduled C-section, okay? So, let's see what it says about my body. It says my body right now. Um... Really nope. So it says 35 weeks pregnant practitioners should be measuring 35 centimeters from the top of my uterus to the bottom of my stomach, which is about right. Um. Okay, so it talks about urination. So I'm going to just tell you what's going on with me as far as, as this is concerned. Yes, I am going to the restroom more frequently now. And it is actually getting painful to hold it any longer than I should. So I'm going... A lot and then when I go sometimes it's not even a lot it's just like hey okay so sometimes when I go to urinate it's not even a lot it's like a little bit but I guess depending on how he's sitting or pushing or whatever the case may be it makes me feel like I have a full full 
full bladder when I actually do not have a full bladder. The phone has locked again. So, let's see what else we got on here. Um, then it says, talk to a doula. I don't, I'm not talking to a doula, whatever. I'm going to the doctor, things like that. Um, it says, common symptoms that you may be having in this trimester, occasional headaches. I am having a lot of headaches. If you guys don't know, if you've ever watched any of my previous videos, you know that I suffer from migraines anyway. So now, getting towards the end of this pregnancy, they are getting a whole lot worse. They are getting very bad. Um, it says, I may experience very close veins i have not experienced those i have not experienced hemorrhoids i actually experienced hemorrhoids in my first trimester which was really all right um bleeding gums a little bit skin rashes none increasing clumsiness 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 yes clumsiness there we go experience more of that I, that is true i'm already clumsy on top of that, with the big old belly wobbling, knocking down, so it can't bend over, put my shoes on. So, yes, I am experiencing more of that. Pregnancy brain. Huh. Between pregnancy brain and teacher brain, I am losing my brain. <laughs> Point blank and the period. So, yes, I am experiencing a lot of that. And breaks and hits contractions. I have experienced some of those pains. And whew, when I say, thank you, Jesus, that they're only breaks and hits and they do not last very long. Thank you. So that's what's going on with me and my body at 35 weeks. Those are the symptoms. Those are the things that are all there. Um, other things that are going on, um, I was approved for my maternity leave. There's still going to be a lapse where I'm not going to be paid. I will be taking about nine weeks, give or take a week or two, something like that. So I am going to be able to spend a little bit more time at home like I originally wanted to, which is a great thing because you want to spend as much time with baby as possible before you... Give them to a babysitter. I'm feeling mommy neglect. I'm feeling bad because with my first two children, I spent the entire time with them from birth to one and not have to send them to a daycare or anything like that or a babysitter. So I'm feeling really guilty with this pregnancy because I have to go back to work. But with her and my son, I was not working. I was able to be there with them the entire time so i'm having a little anxiety about that and you guys know anxiety is something serious so check on your mental health okay check on your, your mental, mental health, health. health all right um so my official leave date for work is december the 6th however if things change when i go to the doctor tomorrow i will be pushing that up my second boss in charge which is our assistant principal has actually told me that i need to leave a week earlier than i originally said but i just can't leave my job and my babies my students like that i just feel like i'm neglecting them if i do that other things that are going on at 35 weeks um hip pain i don't know what is going on with joints and the body and all that kind of stuff i don't know if I'm just carrying too much weight. I don't. I really don't know because I didn't gain much weight. Everything is in my belly, so I don't really know what's going on and why my hip is hurting so bad at night where I can't get up. I'm literally holding on to the wall to try to get to the restroom, and it is scary because that pain is unbearable. So, yeah. Um, the glow is still real right now. I'm coming to you fresh face. My leave out is not even straightened. Just because I had a long day yesterday, we started with competition, and then we ended with the baby shower and gifts everywhere, and that triggered me again, <laughs> so I was trying to make sure I got all that clean and done. Um, let's see what else is there to know about 35 weeks. I'm getting ready to pack my baby bag and the hospital bag, so everything is actually pretty good. I'm not in any pain as of right now, and I'm looking forward to meeting Prince K. So if you have any other questions that you want to know what's going on at 35 weeks or anything, prior to 35 weeks or anything as far as me preparing for my c-section leave those questions down in the comment section below you guys know what to do um and i'll see you guys in another video very shortly because i'm going to let you guys see what i got at my baby shower and yeah so i'll talk to you guys later bye you ain't gonna say bye huh Oh, bye. I'm showing you my video, but she don't want to talk. All right, do this. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification sign, and we'll see you guys next time.